Now we're going to extend the hat of forgiveness and thanksgiving. The hat of forgiveness and thanksgiving. Um, I read somewhere that forgiveness, you hear people say, uh, I can forgive you, but I can't forgive you. <laughs> but I read, if you haven't forgot, you really haven't forgot. Because forgiveness is not remembering it. Just let me go. Sister Corrine Brack, Friendship United Methods. Come on, tell a little about this for you. I think Sandra told me the Lord to have forgiveness, but I, I got all three of them. <laughs> First, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness is an important building block and needed to build good character. As Christians, we must be, have loyalty and be able to forgive. Loyalty means to be faithful. In order to please God, we must have faith. First, we must be faithful to God, and then we must be faithful to our fellow man. If we search the scripture, we find three examples of loyalty. First, that was Jonathan and David. And, and it tells about how David, uh, how Jonathan helped David escape when his father, from his father's wrath. He was, he was, he was going to kill him. Yeah, yeah. And um, we know some people here on this earth who are faithful and loyal. Matter of fact, I was talking a little while ago. And uh, they told me Pastor Julius Hopkins is a faithful, loyal, forgiving man. Amen. Now, all I did is read about John and David. That was way back then. But I'm talking about in my time. Now, you're in my time. Now, I can come and talk to you. I can touch you in my world. Yeah, yeah. And then it went on to talk about uh, Ruth's loyalty to Naomi. How she <coughs> left her own country and followed her to her country and was loyal to her. Now, there are some loyal women. We, we know some loyal women. Uh, they're not like Naomi. I couldn't, I couldn't have made it in Naomi's time. <laughs> Naomi, had, Naomi made bread from wheat and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I buy mine from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> but that was what, then again, that was way back then. Yes, but I'm talking yes, about people in my time. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to say forgiveness. Forgiveness is also very important. God lets us know if we cannot forgive our fellow man, then he cannot forgive us. Forgiveness means to pardon one's sins, offenses, and debts. Sometimes we'll say, I'll forgive you, but I'll never forget. And that is so true. Now, we're human. We forgive people, or we say we forgive people. And we even get to the point that we can uh, be around them. And we can stand and be around them and, and uh, Maybe even be friends with them, but we don't forget. That's the human part. We, we don't forget when people do us bad, take things from us, beat us down. We don't well, forget that. Well, well. But we can live with it. Yeah, right. yeah. And then it says, God forgives <coughs> sins and remember them no more. Mm -hmm. I wish I could be like that. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> I'll come a long way, but I ain't got that yet. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm still trying. <laughs> the greatest example of God's forgiveness is when he was hanging on the cross. Mm -hmm. And he asked his spouse to forgive those who crucified him. 
Uh, we don't want to be like the unmerciful servant. Well, when God forgave his debt, he jumped on his, his friend and beat him down. You know, <laughs> hey, remember, to ever is human. But forgiveness is divine. All right. Amen. And thanksgiving. Be thankful for what you have. Mm -hmm. We've come in all shapes, all sizes, all colors. God did not bless us a lot. He blessed us all. He, he blessed some of us with a lot of money, some with a, a good portion of money, and some of us we don't think with any money. <laughs> but whatever God gives you, use it. You, you, can, you can use it. Uh, an old Ford I get you the same place as a new cat. <laughs>